All right, it's day three of prepping to get Mossy Bus into the barn. We have this very small piece of uh, pavement to work with. That's the bay and um, it's all cleaned out, but I knew we were gonna have to do some wiggling. The plan is we're gonna back the bus this way and multi-point turn until we're straight and hop on in there. So I added about four yards of fill, five yards of fill maybe, no, six yards, and then six yards of inch and a half gravel on top. So this is pretty well packed down. So if I do need to drive on this, um, we should be able to get pretty far back without sinking in or anything. So that's progress there. Progress in here. I should turn on a light for you guys, but this bay here is cleaned out. Lots of space on either side. Just gotta get rid of those trusses at the end. Give me another three and a half feet or so between the wall and this door. So hopefully tomorrow, uh, Mossy Bus will be sitting in here, comfortable for the winter. I have that insane kerosene heater there if it's a really, really cold day and I'm feeling like I need some warmth. But we should have a great workshop space. So none of this was possible without the aid of Dirty Gertie. Uh, truck performed flawlessly. Three yards is about the limit, probably just because the springs are old. It's not really powerful enough either. I have to drive over a mountain to get my gravel to here, so it's very steep. Um, but Gertie did it. Before we know it, we'll have a video, which is the bus coming up this incredibly steep and tiny driveway to go into the barn over there. The bus has been up here before, but it's it's a heck of a drive for a 35, 36 foot bus. Um, the door is a little too small. I know this already. So we're gonna have to get air in the brakes and not air in the suspension, uh, which saves me four or five inches of ride height. Plus we're gonna have to flatten the tires and even after that, we still may need to take this trim off. So the actual roughed opening of this door is like nine foot eight or something like that. And there's a bunch of trim on here, you know, plus the, the door itself, dropping it down um, significantly, three or four inches. So it's gonna fit. Just will it fit without disassembling the door? Who knows? So next we'll get the trusses out of there and then uh, Hopefully tomorrow, Mossy will be indoors. I'm cutting up the trusses and I'm, but this is dead straight and incredibly dry two by stock. So um, I get to keep it and I think I'm gonna use it. Now I might regret that because it's so dry, but one thing about its dryness is its lightness. So like this is just some of the two by threes that I've cut out of the middle. And then I have these really long ones these are also two by threes by, geez, what is that? It's gotta be, it's gotta be 10 feet at least. Um, so I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30. I'll have 14 of those. And then I'll have 14, uh, I guess I'd call them between 12s and 20s. I'd say the verticals, maybe the 14s and 20s. I'm not sure, I never measured, I'm just guessing. But the point is those are two by fours, which I can rip down and do whatever with. So I should have all the lumber I need for the interior of the bus right here for free. So that was a good score. Um, FYI, this is the family uh, home where I grew up. And when my father had this barn built, this was a mistake the trust company made and they just let us keep them. We never did use them for anything. They've been there for over 20 years, uh, so. Time for them to finally go, but at least they're finally gonna be put to use in Mossy. Well, that's a pretty good piece of wood. 
I believe this is, it's gotta be fir. It's way too heavy after all these years to be pine. Really nice, actually. Very um, tight rings. Way better than the wood you can buy today. And not all of them are perfectly straight, but honestly, like I said, the wood, the wood you can buy at the store today is warped and junk. I mean, this is equally as good, especially for these really long lengths. Um, even if you're getting them delivered palletized, often they're going to come out warped anything over 10 feet nowadays. So, I'm really happy with this. I'm surprised, uh, surprised how much weight is in these things still. But, that's good. Here's the end result, a lot of lumber. Now these two by threes, these were the vertical supports for the gable, they're pretty crooked. Um, two by fours are all nice and straight. Two by fours over here are nice and straight. These two by threes are nice and straight. And it looks like all these two by fours are gonna be nice and straight. Um, so I'm gonna go get my skill saw to finish cutting the ends off of these, get some lunch and come back later. batteries. We have oil pressure. Plenty of smoke.
on, Toby. So getting the sunroof off, what I need, look like a 7 16 I have my little kit here to get me going. 7 16 3 8 impact, should pop that right off. Let's see here. And there's my 7 16 and I'm gonna bring up a half inch just in case let's go check it out well this is somewhere I haven't been before but top all these panels are aluminum and for whatever reason there are steel parts of the sides so aluminum, aluminum, steel, steel, steel. I don't know why they did that. Um, maybe they're replacements. Couldn't tell you. But uh, pretty cool. Let's see here. Now this has to come off. Looks like it's tarred in there pretty good. Uses a bunch of bunch of Phillips. So we'll get that off of there.
Heads up. Okay. Let's see if we can't get this one off. All Phillips screws again. All right, will this one pop? Ooh, this one's on there pretty good. Thinking about it. I need some good glue. All right, well, that's off, and uh, I'll say I'm impressed. Whatever this stuff is, it's a uh, good quality product. Still sticky after all these years. Sit. 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 Sit.
tired? No power steering. Tight tight? Yeah. But we'll get it. At the moment, it seems a, a bit tall. Okay, so here's where we're at. It's a waiting game. Big bus, tiny garage. But I think with the air out and the tires flat, it's gonna fit. We've done some measurements. Worst case scenario, I take the trim off of that door, but it should work. Now, right now it's a waiting game because I don't know I don't think there's any way. This bus still has the original leveling system. So it's got a single leveling valve in the front, two leveling valves in the rear, and they're connected to the axles. And I don't know any way of letting the air out of the air beams, um, so letting the air out of the air bags, uh, without crawling under there, disconnecting those, and physically moving them. And obviously you can't crawl under and then drop the bus on top of you. That's sketchy. So we're just going to wait. It does leak out after some amount of time. We're not sure. We've never timed it. Definitely overnight, but maybe by the end of the day. I, I really have no idea. The leaks are really small. You can't really hear them or anything, so it's going to be a while. But for now, take our tiny screwdriver, let the air out of the tires. And yes, I know I could use a valve stem, valve core removal tool, but the angle of this wheel to the core, I can't, at least with the one that I have. Maybe if I had a little T1, but I have a screwdriver style. I can't do that because it's in such an angle, it won't let me turn the screwdriver. And I won't be able to put the valve core back in, which would be a big bummer. So I'm gonna slowly drain the tires with this. I'm gonna do the inner duels, I'm gonna do the fronts. I'm gonna leave the outer duels fully pumped up until we get on the pavement. And uh, then we'll see if we're low enough when we come back. All right, so we let it sit overnight and here we are. Um, Tires are pretty flat, and air is definitely out of the suspension. Let's see how low it's sitting. I think I think we're gonna make it, but uh, still can take the trim off if we need to. But um, she's right on the ground, sitting on the bump stops, no air in it at all. So. Uh, we're gonna fire it up and see if it'll squeeze in, at least the front. And then we'll have to take the air out of the back tires. Well, it made it, barely. Definitely have some work to do here. <laughs>
So... I guess we're not gonna make it without taking the trim off. Because everything is very flat and we still have a couple of inches of rise to do here. So we'll back it up and take the trim off. And keep in mind that I'm a nice enough dad that I'm letting you cut my bar. Well, really, it not should. Take trim it should have had a ten foot door oh, yeah. since day one. So. Oh, yeah. Who's really with that? Well, I didn't know when you were yes. in your mother's belly that someday you'd show up with a bus. Uh, who bought this bus first? I wasn't planning on putting it in here. <laughs>
good. Babe, I think you're gonna... I think you're gonna hit on the side. But the top is good, but the side, you need to straighten out or something. I don't know. predictions if it's gonna fit yes or no I think it will so we have all the tires flat we cut the header a little bit breeze up there and uh, I'm just gonna yell if it hits I can hear it inside too while I'm driving let's give it a shot
celebratory round. That's good news. Excellent. Success! Well, here it is. Now we can pump up the tires and this will be our workspace. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, what, five day process-ish? Yeah. Of cleaning the barn and two days to get it in, had to wait for the suspension to go down, had to cut the header on the door. Um, oddly enough, I think it's still gonna seal because the door sits way above where the uh, opening was. So we should be able to close the door without replacing, replacing any wood yet for the winter. Um, but it's in. So now the real work begins, stripping every little piece out of the interior Placing all the window gaskets um, and getting it ready for wiring and then spray foam. Um, wiring walls and spray foam. There's only two walls, or four walls really if you think about it. Bathroom on both sides. You guys will see the layout later. But the point is, it's here, it can be worked on, and it's time. Yay. Yay.